back to the Hoop Tetra Ceramics channel. Today I'm going to explain the process of um, carving a design into a pot. This is a crock pot, a fermentation pot that has been ordered for me. And um, the client wanted a samurai, Japanese symbol, engraved into the pot. So what I did is in the raw clay pot, I carved in the symbol. I then um, viscified the pot. I've now glazed the pot white and it goes into a celadon light blue at the bottom I then where it was glazed I etched away so it exposed where I had carved the symbol and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lightly put in a light matte black glaze into where the symbol is and um, yeah I hope it's all going to work out so very excited I don't often do decoration and painting so it's Quite a nice thing to be getting my self back into this. I have a certain amount of concentration because I don't want to go out of the line or cause any drip marks because that will really affect the glaze around me. Big respect to people who paint and decorate. Um, I think it just comes with. Practice and confidence, and I used to do a lot of painting at school. I just haven't done it for many years, so I think it's something I need to get into again. I think when you get jobs like this, it kind of pushes you back into your into your unsafe spaces, into your um, places you haven't been in a while you get asked to do something and um, it's actually always a little bit of a challenge but it's also very exciting my daughter's just arrived with some nice fresh paint brushes that might help um, after I wash all the paint off <laughs> the thicker I go on this um, matte black glaze The, um, the more luxurious and thick it will become um, and if it is too thin it becomes actually quite uh, well, it doesn't really work as well so I do need to, I'll probably have to do a couple layers on this this is almost looks like a little little eye here in the symbol it's actually quite an amazing symbol the samurai I'm quite fascinated with Japanese symbols. They really do. The artistry of their letters is quite incredible, actually. In the way they. Their writing is more art form than just writing. It's quite interesting, too. part of the letter it's almost like a suckle moon sometimes when glazes overlap you get a completely different color so I've never done a test on celadon overlapping with matte black I always presume that the strongest color usually wins so if the matte black is clearly the stronger color so I'm presuming it would be more but sometimes you overlap colors and you get a, an incredible result and that's the fascination with pottery actually the, the reaction that glazes and then you just go a couple of degrees higher and then you get a whole other result so the heat and it all comes to play okay now i'm going to do another layer and another layer i've done a, a few coats now Here's the original, so it's got glaze all over it, here's the original uh, drawing. I drew this and then I, I stuck this onto the pot with water, so the paper stuck. Then I traced over it with um, a piece of plastic so my pen would slip easily. And that's how I got the actual 
exact sort of impression onto the pot and then I carved it out in the raw clay. Um, so I've just done the this is the final layer now. So this pot's going to be quite high fired and the higher this matte black glaze goes, the more um, gloss it becomes. So this is probably going to be more more shiny. Which I'm fine with. It's not a particularly I want a matte glaze. I just wanted a black glaze in here. So um, I was debating maybe putting a more of a stain in, but I think this will look nice. Maybe just giving a, a final layer. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how much this symbol looks like an animal. She looks like a fox with a hat on. Um, to me, I'm more visual when I see anything. I'm always looking at shapes and rocks and things like that. I always see things like that. Always just jump straight out at me. Yeah. Just realized when I look at the symbol here that the glaze is actually covered up a lot of my carving there. I um, when I sprayed, so I actually this is so this is how I scraped the glaze off originally. It's like this with this thing, and then I can feel I can feel where I where I came to the edge. So there we go. So I needed to actually take quite a lot more off of that symbol. It was too skinny. I think that's more like it. Stressful stuff, this painting. Not for the faint hearted. I must hold my breath every time I do it. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out on each stroke. Just to stabilize my hand. There, over there's a mat, I'm not supposed to, so now I need to actually just lightly spray, scrape away some of that cloth like that. And then I'll put a little light, put a filament in, in between the two. There we go, they are very close to the actual symbol. Everything packed in, closing the door, the glaze firing is ready to go on. Holding thumbs. So I finally unpacked the kiln and I'm so happy with my results. Beautiful white glaze going into the celadon. The samurai symbol has come up really nicely. And yeah, the lid has worked out really well. The beautiful blue um, color inside there, that's come up beautifully. Obviously got the craft pod weight that will sink in and to keep the cover down. So that works really, really well. Fantastic with all the power for baby cocks. All good. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like more videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.